Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with SNOME. Today's host is Pam Marty. She is their National Account Manager for Indirect Sales, and she will be presenting today along with two other colleagues. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box and Pam, Sarah, or Ian will answer them at the end of today's presentation. I am finished for now. Pam, please go ahead and take it on over. Thanks, Julie. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being on the call today. We really appreciate it and look forward to getting to share a little more about SNOME with you. I also have on the call um, Sarah Boucher, and she is the inside sales manager for SNOME, and Ian Mitchell, who is our project product manager for SNOW. Um, and basically, I just wanted to introduce myself and let you know that uh, some of the things that we're gonna stick to and, and make a clear point on is that, as you can see on this first screen, um, we you're allowed to make higher margins with SNOW. We have a longer warranty, a three-year warranty, and Sarah will talk more about that. But the most important thing to me and to our company is that we're, we have North American based support and we're here for you. You can call us and talk to us anytime. We want to build relationships with our clients. And if you need us to call your customers, go on sales calls with your customers, when we are allowed to travel again, we'll be happy to do that. So um, we're, we just want to make it as easy for you as possible to do business with our company. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Sarah. Thanks, Pam. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah Boucher. I'm Inside Sales Manager. Um, I've been here for just over five years and just want to give you um, a brief introduction to the company and why it's, it's um, a great partnership. Um, it's, we would love for you to join us. And so SNOME has a reputation as being first in VoIP. Um, we introduced our North American office in 2006, right in Massachusetts. In 2016, VTech acquired us. Um, they were looking to get into the SIP market and with our sophisticated SIP stack, um, it was a great match. VTech is a vertically integrated organization. So we have control over the product from the manufacturing stage all the way to the end. We do have a large warehouse right in San Antonio, Texas. This allows us to get product out quickly. And as Pam mentioned, the North American based support. So you have pre-sales, post sales and technical support available to you via telephone, email, we're always here to help. Um, and then also the warranty. So SNOM always had a two year warranty, which was a year longer than any competitor. Um, but with the acquisition with VTech, we were able to bump that up to three years, um, which is really nice. It gives you great peace of mind for your customers. Um, and then of course we, we do offer duck phones, deck phones, um, for mobility, which is really important now, especially with um, social distancing and everything, paging devices, conference phones, we have everything all in one place for you. So with reliable and unique product offerings and support, SNOM is well positioned to help grow your business. Um, the SNOM product line can help you grow existing customers as well as reach into new markets. So as some companies slowly start to transition to employees getting back into the office, others are extending or even making work from home permanent. We'll continue to see a larger percentage of the workforce work from home part or full time, and we do offer flexible solutions for home and office. So I want to go over our desk phones here. Um, our entry level phone, our D120, it's very simple, no frills. It has a great speaker phone as all of our phones do. Um, this is perfect for lobbies, school classrooms, um, and then moving into our 700 series, all of these phones allow you um, to connect via USB um, if you wanted to add a conference phone or if you wanted to go ahead and add an expansion module to get more BLF keys. Our 717 is our entry level, offers um, six of the counts, three BLF keys. Um, it's a nice looking phone. And again, that's your entry level. Our 735 is our mid-level. Um, this gives you 32 BLF keys, um, and then you get a proximity sensor as well. It allows you to program your phone to expand your screen when you go to reach for the phone. Um, so typically you'll have the short labels as standard, but when you move your hand over the sensor, it, 
you have the ability to go ahead and have that um, give you longer labels. And our 785 is our executive. Um, so this gives you a nice large color screen. It gives you 24 BLF keys and you have Bluetooth connectivity. Um, we do test with Flantronic, Strava, and Sennheiser. So we do have um, headsets from those manufacturers that we know work well with our phones as well. And again, all these phones have a built-in USB port. Um, so you can go ahead and connect um, up to three D7 expansion modules should you need it. Um, first one plugs in via USB, and then you can add an additional two with a power supply. Um, coming soon, and I'll have Ian kind of cover this, um, we are going to be coming out with a color version. Yeah, so we have the D7C um, color, and this will have the same capabilities of um, being able to daisy chain up to three of them per phone, and we will support uh, multiple pages um, per D7 as well, so even a single one will be able to give you uh, quite a few um, keys, you know. We can see that right on the uh, large color display, we've got those 16 programmable um, keys, and then we can have uh, multiple pages of those. And so we've got that nice big uh, 6.8 inch uh, color display. So this is still being uh, worked on. We're expecting it to hit sometime in Q3 of this calendar year. Um, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. Thanks, Ian. Um, so real quick here, um, I had mentioned the USB port and the ability to go ahead and connect um, the deck dongle to that. We do offer a Wi-Fi dongle as well, so you don't have to go third party for that. And along with that, um, the deck dongle, you're able to go ahead and connect our wireless conference, our C52 unit to that, um, which is really nice, again, especially with working from home. And you do have up to 150 feet that you can travel with that. Um, our conference devices. Um, so as you can see, you have your base unit here and you have two speaker and microphones um, that charge right in the base. But again, those can travel up to 150 feet. Um, with this, you do have the ability of adding up to three of the C52s as well. So you can really cover a large environment there. Um, with that range, the deck range, you don't even have to be in the same room. If there's a meeting going on and there's someone who needs to be on the call, but they can't necessarily leave their office, they can go ahead and actually take that C52 right into their office. Um, so they don't even have to be in the same room. And available today, um, we're very excited about our C620. It looks just like the, um, very similar to the 520, but it's fully wireless. Um, so you don't have to worry about drilling holes into that nice new table that you have in your conference room or wires being all over the place. Um, it charges right in that base station that you see there, um, which is really nice. And again, you have those two detachable microphones and um, you can add up to two of the C52s to that. And this just kind of gives you an example of, um, you know, how you could use it where you would want to expand. Um, so in a large conference room, you can really cover 18 at least people um, just with this setup. So it's really nice. And then, of course, training room, um, you can have one device on each table and so on. And with that, I want to hand it over to Ian um, to cover our mobility. Hi, so yeah, my name is Ian Mitchell, and I'm, I'm one of the product managers here at uh, Sonoma Americas, and we just want to cover um, our deck solutions now, and we have a couple different ones. The first one that we're going to start with is our M100, and the unique thing about this is we actually have keyline emulation, and what that's in reference to is, you know, you have uh, those uh, old, old phone systems, you know, from, you know, 20 years ago that a lot of people were very used to where you just had really simple flashing lights that represented your line keys. So for those like really small micro businesses or for places that might have, you know, high turnover, or they're just like really busy and they don't have time to worry about um, putting calls on park and then paging and trying to announce, like, hey, we have a call on, you know, extension uh, 203 or something like that. You literally get line indication for um, up to four calls and it's synchronized between both a cordless desk set and the cordless handsets. So if you're uh, in the back warehouse, like moving around or whether you're at the front desk somewhere, um, you know, if you get a call, you're gonna see that flashing light. So you know that you have a call coming in, you can answer it, you can put it on hold with a single button and you can actually just go over your PA system and just say, hey, parts, you got a call on line two or sales, you have a call on line three. And there's no kind of remembering um, extensions or, you know, not having any kind of visual indication. They just 
go to the first available phone, see that blinking light, and you know you've got a call there. So it's a really good solution. Um, you know, for those places that just are, you know, super on the go and they need that good visual cue as to um, what calls need to be answered. And of course, we have not just the cordless handset, but we have a ruggedized handset in the 10, uh, M10R. So that, of course, is going to survive some drops or if it's, um, you know, outside in the rain, you know, maybe you're in a, a, a store that has, uh, you know, somebody that, you know, helps unloading and loading stuff like that. You're not going to have to worry about that getting damaged. And then the cordless desk set, the M18, that's really interesting because it's a fully cordless desk set, not just from the communication because it is a deck phone, but it also has a battery. So if you do need to actually move this to a location uh, temporarily and you have no access to even to power, um, you can actually do that and then it'll run up for seven hours on even the desk phone. So this just kind of shows you a, a closer view of both the uh, desk sets and the cordless handsets and how we actually have those line keys that are actually backlit even on a cordless handset. Um, that gives you that easy representation to see who's holding. And of course we have that dedicated hold key. So you can just put somebody on hold, use the built-in paging in the system, or you could just uh, press your speed dial for your overhead paging system in order to tell somebody um, where a call might be holding. And if we go to the next slide, we can see that, um, you know, we've had a, a lot of success with this. Um, our partners um, do really like it just because it makes the deployment super easy. Since the only thing that you're actually provisioning is the base station, the M100, and then everything else is basically just a deck accessory that pairs to it. And right out of the box, it's already automatically set up for that um, four line representation on all the devices. So incredibly easy to set up, incredibly easy to use. Now, if you do need to go into something a little bit more advanced, if we go to the next slide, we also have um, a more traditional single cell and also a multi-cell um, deck solutions. And this is for more like the enterprise or just a larger medium-sized business where maybe they do need to have a whole bunch of traditional SIP desk sets, but they need some uh, good mobility to actually get around maybe a large building. So if it's just a single cell solution, you know, maybe just a small office, you can get the M325, which will um, support up to 20 handsets and up to five concurrent calls. And the nice thing is all of the handsets for this particular solution are all cross compatible. So if you actually start with an M325, because at the time you're just a small business, but then you do need to upgrade to a larger solution, maybe you get some more floor space, you can actually just um, upgrade to our M700 or actually our next generation of the multi-cell, the M900, take all those handsets with you and with the uh, M900 or 700, you actually have uh, multi-cell capability, which means you can have multiple bases that are all communicating together to actually uh, be able to cover a much larger footprint of physical space, but also give you more handsets. We can see with the M700, we can go up to 253 base stations, which gives you 1,000 handsets, or with the M900, you get up to 4,000 base stations and up to 16,000 uh, handsets. And if we go to the next slide, we'll actually um, kind of show you how that multi-cell works. So the, the base stations um, communicate with, with each other over um, decked air synchronization, and they can also do uh, land synchronization. So if they're all hooked up through the, the land cables, if you do need to actually um, cover a large gap, so maybe you have multiple buildings and there's a parking lot between, as long as they're on the same network, you can actually have a handset in building one, and then if it walked across the parking lot into building two, it'll pick back up with its signal and it'll still be the same extension with all the same information and it'll operate in that building as well. And the M700 and M900, it's basically just um, the next generation version of it. And the M900 is fully back, backwards compatible with the M700. So if you may have already seen this before and you have an existing installation, um, and if you do need to replace a unit, even if we are uh, out of the M700s, that M900 can drop right in place. And we also have uh, this site survey built right into the handsets because of course, uh, since the multi-cell deployment, you wanna make sure that uh, you cover all the dead spots and stuff like that. Well, we make it really easy for you. You can actually take um, basically two of the bases and you can kind of um, hop them from location to location within a building and you just put our handsets into a survey mode and you can actually see the signal strength 
So that way you can uh, basically guarantee that as you're hopping these bases from point to point to point, uh, you don't have any um, dead spots of coverage. You can basically accommodate for that because you can actually see um, the signal in every single one of those, you know, every, every office or every hallway and, and every floor. So that way you know that, um, you know, exactly how much, uh, how many bases you need in order to do that full coverage. So you're not just taking a random guess and saying, well, I, I guess I'll get 50 bases and I'll just kind of randomly put them out and, and see how it works. It's like we, we have the, the deck survey um, built into the handsets so you know exactly where you need those bases. So if we go to the next slide, um, we'll actually show you. So the uh, um, initial series that we had, we had three handsets, the M25, 65, and 85. And when we released the M900 series, um, we refreshed it with three new models. So now we have the M70, M80, and M90. And the great thing is with these new ones, um, we actually increased the resolution on all the displays. So we went to a higher resolution two inch color display. We have Bluetooth built into all three of the handsets where on the previous series, only the M85 had Bluetooth. And then we also have um, ruggedized on all the handsets. So the M70, while it's not IP65 certified, it is ruggedized up to a two meter fall and it does have some better sealers in it for um, water splash. And then as we get to the M80, the M80 is a full IP65 certified um, handset, just like the M85 was. And then on the M90, we actually went a step further. So we've got the IP65 um, certified uh, rugged nature, but we also added an antibacterial um, coating. So this makes it really good if you're in like, you know, maybe a hospital or a, a medical clinic or anywhere that, um, you know, you might be concerned with, uh, you know, bacterial growth. You know, you wanna make sure that people still stay healthy as they're um, using the handsets and possibly sharing it between, you know, two or three people. And then for the base stations, we can see the differences. Uh, we basically increased that capacity. So we went from 253 all the way up to 4,000 bases and then up to, from 1,000 handsets all the way up to 16,000 handsets. So really great solution if you need that expansion to cover a, a large area, you know, like a, a big warehouse or a college campus or a hospital, something like that. Now, in addition to these deck solutions, we also have the PA1, if we go to the next slide. And this is um, basically giving you the ability to integrate an overhead paging system with a SIP installation. So you can register up to four SIP accounts onto the PA1. And then we do have a built-in amp on this. So you can actually hook a speaker right into it, or you can actually just use the line interface in order to hook into um, a larger amp if you're doing a much broader um, overhead paging system that's more than just one simple speaker. And then the other thing that we've done is we've um, added a multicast relay into this as well. So you can actually assign up to, you know, multiple uh, multicast relay um, addresses into this. And that way, if you can, you can basically just call like one of those uh, SIP accounts and you can do a simple extension. So you assign extension uh, 201, 202, 203, 204, and somebody can just dial that extension from any one of the phones and it'll automatically perform a multicast relay to any of your multicast um, speaker endpoints, whether those are other SIP phones or um, additional uh, PA1s um, in order to relay that um, broadcast out to, to multiple people. So really good solution if you're trying to bridge that gap and get an overhead paging system into a SIP environment. And with that, I'm gonna hand it back over to Sarah. Thanks, Ian. Um, so we're just about done here. I just wanna quickly go over our partner program. Um, it's something we put in place about two years ago. It's worked out really well. We do ask all resellers to fill out a, an application um, and agree to adhere to our map policy. And this is where the higher margins come in. Margins are very high for all partners because everyone has to adhere to that. Um, it's worked out really well. Once you're approved, typically you'll get approved within 24 hours, sometimes as quickly as an hour. Um, but you are able to go ahead and purchase NFR resale, um, I'm sorry, not for resale sample units, directly through your distributor. Um, so that means that you can go ahead, you can test it out, you can put it on your showroom floor. Um, it gives you a nice way to go ahead and test the product prior to really putting in um, you know, a, a lot of money or a lot. Um, once you are approved and you get your NFR samples, um, we will introduce you to our sales engineer, Simon. Um, again, this is where the support comes in. 
we want to help you any way that we can. So we want to make sure that you are successful and anything that we can do to help, please let us know. Um, our contact information is right here. Please feel free to reach out with any questions if there's anything we can do to help. Um, and with that, um, thank you again for your time. And I want to hand it back over to Julie. Thank you so much, Pam, Sarah, and Ian. We appreciated it, and your presentation was wonderful. It looks like we have some questions for you, so let's go ahead and we'll get started with the first one here. Um, where can you, can you tell us a little bit about manufacturing and where your products are manufactured? So we actually have um, a couple of different manufacturing facilities. Um, we do have uh, manufacturing in uh, mainland China. We also have a facility in Malaysia. I believe we have another one in Vietnam. So, you know, we're actually constantly looking at, um, you know, shipment rates and then also uh, material rates and kind of, um, you know, kind of picking at the specific time where, where the best place to, to manufacture the goods are and ship them from. But uh, we are a global company, so we do have a, a, a large footprint in lots of different countries. Thank you very much for that. Next question here for you. Um, regarding warranties, I think you touched on it a little bit. For your extra modules, um, how long are the warranty on those? Three years. Um, excuse me, one more time, please. Um, on the expansion modules, it's three years yes. as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, next question here for you. Um, if, for example, um, there is a defective model, um, would it be sent back to you for repair or replacement? Um, or how does how does the lead time work on that? What's the what's what information can you give us on that? Sure. Um, so with that warranty, we do offer advanced replacement as well. So you don't have to go through that RMA process prior to receiving um, the new product. We will ship it out to you right away. Excellent. Thank you so much. Next question here for you. Um, are your base stations exclusive to SNOME branded extension phones or cordless handsets? Yes. Okay. Next question here for you. Um, for your handsets, does it have a 3.55 jack uh, for a headset if needed? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Thank you so much. Next question here for you. Um, will your multi-cell work with any handset or does it have to be the same model? So for the multi-cell, um, the, uh, there's six handsets that work with it, the M25, 65, 70, 80, 85, and M90. And then for the KLE, that is a separate set of handsets um, that work exclusively with that. So you've got the 10, the 10R, and then the M18 um, cordless desk set. Thank you so much for that. Uh, next question here for you. Um, what type of batteries do they run on and how long is talk time? So on the multi-cell solutions, um, except for the M25, it's all gonna be uh, lithium ion. And we're roughly getting, I think it's about uh, 17 hours of talk time on those particular handsets. And then for the um, KLE solution, uh, those are uh, nickel metal, and we're typically getting about uh, nine hours of talk time on those handsets. Excellent, thank you so much. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your company's uh, customer support or tech support or uh, perhaps anything to do with uh, a forum that one could go to to get more information, more technical information, that sort of thing? Yeah, so we actually have, um, for our support team, um, we are a global company, so we do have support actually um, kind of in a couple of different locations throughout the world. Um, but for Snow America specifically, we do have um, a couple of North American agents that are actually um, here both on the East Coast. And then I think we also have um, down in Texas and then on the West Coast as well. So we do have um, a spread out. So you're going to get some pretty immediate support, whether you call our um, support line that we have or you can also enter in a help desk ticket and the help desk ticket um, is global and that way you'll get actual um, tracking both in um, you know, the responses back that you can kind of see archival information because you will have like a help desk um, account itself. So you can kind of always go back and to your also, tickets. I just put it in the chat 
uh, the support address, email address, and the telephone number as well. Yeah. Excellent. And then for um, additional support, we actually have a website called uh, service.snome.com, and that we have, um, we don't have a forum on that, but we do have a full wiki, so you'll see um, all of our firmware updates, manuals, quick start guides, and we also have hundreds of um, wiki articles that describe in detail, like very specific tasks. You know, we might be describing um, how to register handsets, how to perform like a multi-cell um, uh, site survey, or you know how to do programming on a phone, whether it's through the config files or through the web UI, and that is um, service.snome.com. Excellent, thank you, Pam, Sarah, and Ian, so much for answering all of those questions for us today. And also, thank you to everyone for attending today's webinar presentation. And if anyone has any further questions, please feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view any of the products mentioned or shown here today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. And please remember, this webinar presentation has been recorded and will be uploaded to our Microcom YouTube channel so you can view it again. Thank you so much for your time and all of your valuable information for our first webinar presentation with SNOME today. We appreciate you guys very much. Everyone, have a fantastic day. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye yeah, now. Thank you.